hazardous waste okay bata diya maine hazardous waste includes certain plastics it includes pops it includes also e waste and a special category hai the radioactive wastes radioactive waste now management of hazardous wastes okay uh, there are two treaties ya conventions bolo one is called as the basel convention and the second is called as the stockholm second is called as the stockholm conference or stockholm convention stockholm convention tha this was in 2001 mein tha and the basel convention was in it was 1989 this was adopted in 1989 and this was in 2001 Now, Basel Convention is the objective here to ban transboundary uh, shipment of hazardous wastes. To ban transboundary shipments of hazardous wastes. Is me kya tha? What was happening was 1970s me and 1980s me a lot of hazardous waste was exported uh, to africa lot of it was exported to caribbean islands and the best part is india abhi bhi karta hai import okay because regulations are weak yes india imports ye jo aapke wars hote hain uh, war ke baad mein wo jo shells reh jata hai na those bomb ka shells hota hai aur okay, missile shells hote hain wo khali hota hai so india import karta hai usko तो उसके अंदर में यू हैव गॉट कॉपर यू हैव गॉट आयरन यू हैव गॉट लेड एंड उसको स्मेल्टिंग करके अलग करते हैं इन पर दैट इज वन ऑफ द रॉ मटीरियल फॉर मेनी ऑफ द मिनी स्टील प्लांट इज वन टाइप ऑफ हजार वेस्ट यू कैन इम्पोर्ट डिस्कार्डेड टेलीविजन डिस्कार्डेड मोबाइल फोन एकदम थाउजेंड ऑफ टन में आता है एंड द रैक पिकर्स इन इंडिया उसको अलग करते हैं ओके सो इट इज अपने आप में इट्स अज बिजनेस बट देन इज लॉट ऑफ इनवायरमेंट इशूज द वेस्ट इज giving us their waste okay and because developing countries and they need some money so they are buying so lot of such waste was being exported to africa exported to caribbean islands ek bada interesting case tha this happened i think 70s mein hua tha uh, something called as the khyan sea waste i was researching i came across this khyan k h i a n khyan sea waste so a company in us Okay, uh, somewhere in Philadelphia, उसने क्या किया? It exported the waste in a ship to island of Hayati, island of Hayati. कि वहाँ पर हम डम कर देंगे and pay them whatever. But somehow the local population knew about it, so they protested. They they protested. They didn't allow them to dump it. And these guys, what they did quietly was half of their cargo dump करके भाग गए on the on the coast of Hayati. and then the ship was in the seas for 6 days disposing the waste in the sea itself like okay, you understand what is happening here a company in us in philadelphia it exports its waste to hayati and its hazardous waste health problems hongi hayati mein the population got a wind of it and they protested but fir bhi this quietly raat mein dump kar gaya aadha waste aur nikal gaya from the coast and then they kept dumping the waste in the sea itself it was a huge cry uske baad ye basel ke convention bana ki this is not allowed you cannot do this okay big aapka ganda aake hamare ghar mein dal rahe ho okay this was to ban the export of the hazardous wastes uh, to africa this has been a concern because there are monetary and financial incentives to import such hazardous wastes by less developing countries the exporting countries rarely take the responsibility they rarely take the responsibility in sharing technologies or processes to deal with such special wastes the treaty requires domestic legislation by the member countries to prevent and punish such hazardous waste trafficking and by the way samjhe ha when i'm saying the less developed countries are importing it is not that the government is importing it is a private party is importing no so i have a company called 
ay abc private limited i am in india i can always import what who stops me there government of india can say ki nahi hum nahi karenge but the private individuals can import the private companies can import so the member nations should make laws that bans and punishes such kind of trafficking so when i am when i am saying it is exported to africa i don't mean the country's government officials are doing this i mean they might be part a party in some other way but it is done by the private parties if you know uh, one of those aircraft carriers was to be dismantled in india russian tha uh, groshkov tha shayad i forget uh, russia sold that to a private party a businessman who bought it and wo india mein la ke usko tod de and the law said we can't allow that because such large ships they have huge amount of asbestos asbestos hota hai which is again harmful for the lungs so in gujarat there is a ship breaking yard called as alang the ship breaking yard in gujarat called as alang a ship breaking yard alang is infamous ke these guys yahan par jo private parties hain they import old ships frigates submarines aur yahan la ke todte hain like and these ships they have a huge amount of asbestos which is polluting it can cause breathing problems lung problems create karega asbestos so jo aircraft carrier tha it was a massive uh, russian aircraft uh, carrier which some businessman imported and he wanted to break it in alang but allow nahi hua we had to block it ye hum allow nahi kar sakte aapka so the member countries must make laws that that punishes and that uh, prevents uh, such type of trafficking india has been a signatory since 1992 so that is about this uh, ek uh, news mein raha hai something called as basel ban amendment this forbids oecd oecd are the developed countries it forbids oecd european union and linchenstein country hai l i c h t e n s t e i n linchenstein is a country in the alps like it forbids oecd it forbids eu or alag se linchenstein from exporting hazardous wastes from exporting hazardous wastes to other nations okay to isme ban kar diya pehla kya treaty hai ki hum nahi karenge countries make their own laws okay it was more like a good intent thing but this is a kind of a ban which is being opposed lot of developed nations okay oecd countries are opposing this okay you just know this fact so that's about the basel convention now come back to other one the stockholm convention 2001 now stockholm convention is for stopping the production and the use of pop it is for stopping the production and stopping the use of pop persistent organic pollutants by the way yaad rahe ki basel convention mein sab aata hai basel convention mein trade aata hai jisme ki pop bhi hai e waste bhi hai plastics bhi hai radioactive bhi hai but uh, stockholm is only for the pops persistent organic pollutants okay what are pops pops are a special category of pollutants that are not easily biodegradable and can persist in the environment they are not easily biodegradable and can persist in the environment for several years they accumulate in the food chains particularly in the life forms at the top of the food chains such as a uh, predatory birds carnivores and fishes jo zyada accumulation hota hai kisi life form mein usse kya bolte hain it's called as biomagnification kisi ek life form mein if you heard about something couple of years ago vultures started dying because of pain killers given to cattle one type of pain killer called as diclofenac ye cattle cows buffaloes ko dete the inject karte the and when this with buffaloes or the cattle would die the vultures feed on them so this diclofenac okay it kept on adding to the vulture's body where it became toxic we say diclofenac was biomagnified in the vultures 